According to Times Higher Education World University Rankings 2015-2016, out of 800 universities ranked, one Nigerian university ranked 601st, 200 steps lower than a university in Uganda based on quality of infrastructure and other educational instruments. <laughs> Following the agitations of the Academic Staff Union of Universities to raise the standard of Nigerian universities to acceptable standards, which culminated in the 2009 needs agreement, Representatives of the Federal Ministry of Education, Principal Officers of the University of Port Harcourt gather here for the handover of newly renovated hostels and other projects to the university. Representing the Minister of Education, the Chairman of the Implementation Monitoring Committee says government is embarking on infrastructure development in all Nigerian universities. With this new development, you can see that more hostels are being built on all the Nigerian campuses, including state universities. And I'm hoping that by 2018, at the end of the, this first phase, you would have seen many more hostels in all the universities. For the Vice Chancellor of the University of Port Harcourt, achieving better and more accommodation facilities is vital. The horses are short in supply. Uh, I believe is that by God's grace, when we go through with this assessment and these uh, inspection they are doing, our hope is that needs and indeed Ted Fund will give us more allocation for us to build more hostel. Some students commend the new development. The new hostel is more safer to help education because mostly I, me, I read in the night. I don't know about other people. So leaving the hostel, you can leave your hostel at night, come to the lecture hall, you read and go back. It's safer. That as the federal government continues to embark on the development of infrastructure in Nigerian universities, for some, this may be a signal of the improvement of the fortunes of the nation's tertiary institutions. Emmanuel Irei, Channels Television News.